And Oppo announces a date for its latest foldable smartphone. Microsoft releases a Window 11 update and cyber criminals up their scam. Stephen Fennick, editor of Tech Guide, joins me now. Latest with Oppo, my friend. Yeah, hi, Timmy. Uh, yeah, well, uh, Jiro introduced you to the Oppo, the, the Find N2 Fold. This is a direct competitor to Samsung's Galaxy Z Flip 4. And it happens to be the same price. It's going to be $1,499. It's going to be released on March the 16th. There are some pre-orders already running right now. But, uh, yeah, the device uh, is uh, going to be up for pre-order. It does, it does share a lot of the same features as the, the Galaxy Z Flip 4, including the same price tag. But it really does uh, have a lot of excellent features, some that even the Samsung phone doesn't have, including the ability to fold completely completely flat as well. That's uh, So just, just the, the, the form factor is quite impressive from Oppo there. But just really, it puts Oppo into that flagship space up against Samsung uh, and, and in the same price range as, as the iPhone as well. So uh, a lot of respect to, to Oppo in the, in the space for this device. It is, uh, it, it's going to be pretty highly anticipated, I think. There's, there's uh, the folding phone market is really expanding. We're going to see Samsung's fifth generation of folding foldable phones coming up later this year. But Oppo, with this first-generation Find N2 Fold, I think is going to win a lot of customers. Now, what about this Windows 11 update? Yeah, this is a major update. It's the uh, it, it's uh, for for anyone who's running Windows 11. There's going to be some a lot of new features, including uh, the Bing AI search engine right there in the taskbar. So Bing uh, was was powered by AI that was available a few weeks ago, but now Windows 11 is putting it right there at your fingertips on in Windows 11. So you can now conduct searches, ask questions right there in the taskbar. So uh, Microsoft is a major investor in, in the open AI chat GPT, the company behind chat GPT. They've invested $10 billion into the technology and they're now making good use of it now with this Windows 11 update. But the other update really interesting with Windows 11 is iPhone connectivity. Who'd have thought Microsoft would, would play ball with Apple? Now they're doing it actually with Windows 11. So so now customers can use the phone link for iOS, which means they can link their iPhones to Windows 11 and be able to read their messages, reply to messages off the screen, even answer calls through the Windows 11, their Windows 11 computer as well, as, as well as being able to access their iCloud photos also. Uh, and if you're an Android user, Android, the phone link for Android will improve even further with a one-click connection. So you can use your Android phone as a hotspot. So it'll, it'll appear in your wireless networks and just one click and you can be using your Android device as your hotspot to connect to the internet. What about the latest with cyber safety? Well, we were talking a moment ago about uh, Bing AI and Open Chat GPT. Well, cyber criminals are getting on that bandwagon as well. We've all seen the capabilities of Chat GPT and its ability to generate fluent and coherent text. Well, what, what we're seeing now is uh, cyber criminals taking advantage of that technology so they can write social media posts emails using ChatGPT to create more human-like and realistic text. So they're there being able to bring that technology so to be to sound more convincing and more human-like in their in their scam. So whether it's a phishing email, whether it's a social media post, they are now going to be using ChatGPT to create that more that more life human-like text. So it sounds like a real person. Uh, and hope, and they're hoping to to lure more people into their scams and to sound more convincing and and, uh, and to to drag more victims into their scams. But the other frightening development here too is that there's even talk that they're creating deep fake chatbots. Now I'm sure you've seen a lot of sites that offer a chatbot pops up in the bottom right corner, uh, asks if it can help you. Cyber criminals are now creating these chatbots 
on certain sites that will that it will convince you that you're talking to the legitimate chatbot and maybe even try to extract information, whether it's financial information, you, you, some, some clues on your identity as well. So they're really, they're, they're pretty savvy cyber criminals are moving along with this technology to help their cause, to help create even more convincing scams. So as customers, we really need to be even more vigilant uh, so we don't fall into the traps. Now, I notice in the corner, and many other people watching this will see that you're in Malta, and of course, uh, uh, your father Albert and your mother Doris came to Australia many years ago and built a, a hard fought life for you guys, uh, but that's where yeah, it all began, eh? Did. Absolutely, yeah. Well, I was in Barcelona a few days ago for Mobile World Congress, and I thought, while I'm here, I might as well pop in and see you with my family. It's been, I haven't been able to travel since before COVID. But, yeah, I'm over here seeing all my relatives in Malta. Yeah, you're right. Mum and Dad uh, were, were, uh, were started out here, and even my older brothers, Mario and Joe, were born in Malta yeah. uh, before my parents came to Australia. I was the first one in the family born in Australia. But, yeah, mate, it all started right here in historic and beautiful Malta. Oh, good on you. I bet you're eating well. And my mother, of course, God rest her soul, was born in <laughs> Lebanon but, and came yeah. out to Australia yeah. before the Second World War. But I, I'm sure the food is beautiful in Malta. Just quickly, uh, and, and I know that you find it hard to talk quickly about this subject, but the South Sydney Rabbitohs, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, tonight. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be tuning in. Uh, I've got it all set up, mate, to tune in. It'll be morning my time here, so uh, I'll be watching uh, round one against the Sharks. The boys are looking OK. Hopefully get a win in round one, get off, get the year off to a flyer. I like the look of your mob. I, I, I certainly do. There's a few teams that are right up there. Brisbane um, proved some of the stuff that we spoke about yeah. the other week, that they will be stronger. Yeah, yeah. Um, you don't you don't win the comp in March though, Tim. You've got to start well and stay stay strong and get get through. Hopefully injury free. So we'll be uh, hopefully make a great start. No, you don't win the comp, but you make the news headlines, and that's uh, just as important in the day that you do it. So Brisbane played well, I think South will do well, and uh, you travel well and eat well. Cry back some of that food and bring it back to us, will you? <laughs> Thanks, mate. No worries. See you, Steve.